me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a spray. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked, can I? Before I went live, they know what I was. Ain't no one alive that could do what I does. Need a light here just to catch my buzz. He's right here just to catch my cup. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with some cash? What's pain to a guy that's mad? Said. What's broke to a guy with a mask? What's broke to a guy with a plan? I just wanna kick it, that's all I ask. Like. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a spray. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked, can I? is that the winds aren't as violent as they were yesterday in Chicago, but it's still pretty darn cold to be expected, I guess, for December football at Soldier Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Now this will make it into the end zone, and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. and 10 love that'll be complete to Brita and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. he was unable to shake free there they'll cover him for a loss of a yard ball at the 24 and a second and 11. play fake here's love he lets it fly for Lockett and that's caught inside the 35. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, 76 yards. And the Packers have taken the early lead. And it's good to make it 7 0 Packers. Packers 7, Bears nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
Take the mic. 53. Check. 53. Let's go, Pete. It's going to be a long day, offense. On second down now, Jefferson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On play action, Rosen sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First down, Jefferson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Darren Waller. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Tucker McCann. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Their own 25 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. And obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And seven at the 28-yard line. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's the first carry from Matt Breida. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On play action, love to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. First down, Packers. On first down, here's Breida. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 16 yards, a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. This is Breida. 
And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, yep. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Complete to number nine. Juju Smith-Schuster, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Packers have taken the lead. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. 14, Bears 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has helped them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can... Try and hear for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Breida. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. He was brought down by Zach. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The end of the first quarter with the score, Packers 14. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Glove. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. That's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. They'll run on first down. Jefferson. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Taken down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The ball carrier. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 27, Rosen gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. You see a run like that, and I don't know if that happens in week one or two, but it's this year has worn on. He has gotten better and better, this rookie. And so much for the rookie wall. We always hear about guys breaking down at near the end of the season. Not in this case. He's only gotten stronger and better. 56. Play action here with Rosen. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Gun. Here's Josh Rosen. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And his kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Brings up second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Working out of the gun. Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Love from the gun. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at the 42-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the gun, it's Rosen. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On third down, Rosen. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. 
First down. 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 On first down, Cohen. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And now it's Rosen looking. The screen pass here to Cohen. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Tariq Cohen with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears have retaken the lead. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Makes the score Bears 17, Packers 14. McCann's got it teed up. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 24-yard line. To throw again. Love flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. A 47-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And we're under a minute to go here in what's been an even first half all tied up. Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Rosen on first and 10. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Rosen looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Harris. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, 
And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Throwing again, it's Rosen. That is caught by Cohen. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From midfield now, here's Rosen. Trying to get it to Robinson and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Following the interception, Love. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. First down, Green Bay. First down, going to the air with Love. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Packers. Juju Smith-Schuster in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers have moved out in front. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. It's second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Rosen. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just wanted to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep him bottled up? Instead, they tackle him for a loss. Let's go, let's go. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he will have the Bears' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A quick throw complete by Rosen. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. On second and 15 now, Rosen, a short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And now a timeout coming for the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Rosen to throw again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And they'll indeed go for it with Rosen, eluding the pressure right. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Rosen will throw. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Rosen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Darnell Savage. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They'll start on the ground with Breda. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run again with Breda. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. from the gun on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is gonna have a Packers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. First down, Packers. 
first down, love to pass. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. First down. On play action, love to throw. And he'll go underneath here to Brita. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Continuing to steadily move the ball down the field. Not big play after big play, but these moderate gains getting him first downs. And you know what they add up to, right? If you continue that pace and you continue to move it downfield, they add up into six points. That's exactly what you're looking for. Now it's Breda. Able to slither by. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Love now on second down. Forced out to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield. And it'll bring up third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Play fake. Here's Love. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Mason Matt Breida, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Packers add six to their lead. The kick is and he'll good. bang that one through. Makes the score, Packers 31, Bears 17. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How, how much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Here's Rosen to throw. He'll buy some time right. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The Bears on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Rosen. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And at the 37-yard line. On first down, it's Rosen. The screen pass here to Cohen. 
And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions, it just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. The third down throw incomplete as well. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Back to you. They'll try and throw for it with Rosen. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 28. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. And the Packer first down. Off the play fake, Love. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here, not done in the fourth. Following the fumble recovery, it's Rosen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there. And it's... Second down. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he stopped immediately there. 
No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. On fourth down, Bishop. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. again Bishop this will be taken in by Michael Pittman that'll leave him with a third and two coming up they got eight yards there bring two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the 14. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Operating from the gun, Bishop. That's caught by Walter out left side. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. yards away and the Bears draw a bit closer I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here but it certainly felt like it they got the touchdown they needed but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball okay you got the touchdown but it sure took you a long time yeah because offensively though you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive that one ate up a little more time than they were hoping you're exactly right and if you have that one to five play drive you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know. It doesn't feel right. Exactly. McCann's got it teed up. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because... He is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Packers. 
Matt Breida with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Crosby connects on the extra point and the lead now up to 14. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Now this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 20-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off here, the 32. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Back to the air on second down. Bishop gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Dante Jackson picks it, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. At the 50-yard line. And they'll indeed take a knee. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season, each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And you know, out of a 16 game season, if you get eight at home, let's at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right, a road win, pressure,